Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here, your partnered Expansive Worlds creator. And we are out here in search of the beautiful Shovel Nose Sturgeon. And see what we're fishing for here the Shovel Nose Sturgeon. It likes red worm, cheese, eggs. I, I tend to go with red worm and eggs. Here we go. Looks like we're getting a bite right here. Yeah, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. 4.98 shovel nose sturgeon is actually a really good size sturgeon. It was almost gold. I had a 5.88 pound yesterday. We are at a diamond location that has been reported in the Discord. And you can travel to Empty Fork, hop on the vehicle, and just get here really quick. A very convenient spot. Another place. That we're going to be heading to in a little bit if time allows us to right here in this curve now that is off the beaten path a little i'm going to say maybe we travel to here hopefully we can summon a vehicle here or here and just drive down this road here fish that little river spot right there now our boy dw stevie has informed us that bannox knock right here is a really good sturgeon spot so we're going to try that spot out too even though it's not reported, he says he's caught a couple of dimes there. So, yeah, we have this spot here. I have it labeled as Orid Trout, but it is also a spot for sturgeon. Oh, and we have this spot here that I don't have a marker on the map, but it is uh, to the left of Benox Knock. So, we have a diamond caught here and a diamond caught here. So, I'm thinking a good strategy would be to walk this river since diamonds have been caught here, they're probably all up and down this river, just haven't been reported. So probably a good little spot. And you can fast travel right there and just fish. And I have caught goads in this area on both sides of the bridge too. So we'll go try that spot out. Before we go any further, guys, please do me a favor and hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell there. And that really helps the channel grow, really helps the videos get pushed out, pushed into that algorithm helps so much especially in the first hour that you see what i be posted like comment sub subscribe if you haven't really appreciate the support and let's do some shovel no sturgeon fishing guys to see if we can catch you let me know in the comments if you have caught a diamond shovel nose they have been eluding me the biggest one that i have caught up until this point is a 7.48 pound now, I caught a 5.88 pound goad yesterday, so we got to be getting close to that diamond mark. But here we go. We're getting one to nibble. That is one thing I like about the sturgeon, too. They do nibble, so you get a little bit of a warning with them. So when you tab out, you've got a little bit of a chance to tab back and snag them, as we have with this dude here. Not a bad sturgeon. 4.66 right there. We caught him on the 6. Size 6 egg. All right, guys, we are at a second location here. We moved up here to the north of Van Ox Knock. We're fishing right off the bridge, and now I'm using a red worm. Now I am using, we'll go through and look here. Because there are rainbow trout in here that you could catch, and this may be a rainbow trout right now. It is, and if you hook into a big rainbow trout, you want to be prepared. So that's the only reason I don't use like an eight pound line here because shovel nose don't get very big. It's one ask that I have of the developers is there was a time when it was aggravating for it to be so much darkness. Nobody liked it. They adjusted it. They made it to where darkness didn't last very long. So people were complaining, but that was back in the infancy of the game. Now we have so many nighttime fish that people love to fish for, like walleye and the sturgeon. We really need a little bit more time at night. We really do. There's a good balance of nighttime fish and daytime fish, and I would like to see a little bit more time in real life for some nighttime fishing. Let's see what we get into here. We've got a small shovel nose, because we did switch to a seven hook, so now bronzes will bite on it. Six egg, six red worm. That's the size I like to use. Now you can drop down. You're just not gonna get as many bites when you start going to five and four hooks. So I like to use about a six hook. 
looks bigger. Is this a sturgeon? Oh, it's an orid trout. See, that's another thing. You can catch other diamonds while you're doing this. But if you use that red worm, I'll tell you what you catch a lot of here. You catch a lot of rainbows and you catch a lot of walleye, which if you need those, and I, know I do need a walleye, but for the purposes of this video and I want to show sturgeon off, I use the egg more for this video. But if I'm just out variety fishing and I don't really care, you know, which a lot of times is what I'm doing, unless I'm in a competition like Tackle Tuesday, I'll throw that red worm on there because I want to catch a walleye. You know. Here's a shovel nose. Got here. A little better. 3.82 silver. But again, we are in this second spot here. Yeah, no, it's not. Now this one's a little little off the beaten path. We're not going to go there for this video. Uh, but I would imagine you could summon a vehicle there and drive on down. This one here's a little bit off the beaten path too, so we're not going to fool with it. Now what we could do is walk this river because there is another diamond reported spot right there. Now this spot that we're at, there's not been an official diamond reporting, but DW Stevie says he's caught two uh, diamond sturgeon here. So I just cast out there. Sometimes I go to the other side and cast when it dries up here on this side. If you want to bite guys, just tab out. That's what you That's what you got to do. This, this is a sturgeon and it looks like a decent one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Ooh, 4.86. He almost made gold. Nice. And that completed a challenge for us. Let's go see what the other side's on. Right now, that my other rod is the Advocate. Again, 22-pound line. I think I might be using a 27-pound line on my line. I just want to be prepared in case a bigger fish bites because they will bite in that area, the rainbow trout especially. Might be getting something. Yeah. I thought I saw something under it. Let's see what we've got here. Yep, so it's a sturgeon. Yeah, you get plenty of bites on that number seven. Even though it's, uh, it's a bronze, even though it's 5.30, we're running out of daylight, we're still getting we're getting pretty good lot of bites here. If you want to catch just a goad or just a diamond, for example, we go over here and we look at the shovel nose sturgeon. See the number five hook. You know, I'm not even using that big. I'm using a six and seven. That catches bronze, you know, LeBron's James, as Tipsy says. But if you want to drop down to a five hook, four hook, three hook, all the way down to a two hook, they will bite all the way down to a number two. But you're going to sit there and wait and wait. And if you don't have a shovel nose sturgeon diamond in that location, you're not going to get a single bite on a number two. That's why I like using the six and seven. A lot of times I'll switch down to the five if I get tired of catching the LeBron's James. Uh oh. We're getting a bite just in time. I can't believe it didn't bite while we had that little screen. A lot of times, that's what happens. Get a bite right when you got something pulled up on the screen. This is going to be our last fish. The other spot's kind of off the beaten path. Takes a minute to get there. But you can go check those spots out, see if they're worth it. No, this doesn't look like a shovel nose to me. Oh, we caught a pretty brook trout. Those are beautiful fish. I caught a diamond brook trout uh, during one of my streams fishing for cutthroat. I call this the Madge Pond. For those of you all who haven't fished here, right here. Cutthroat trout diamond and a brook trout diamond caught right there. It's not quite the Magic Pond, so we'll just call it the Madge Pond. <laughs> if you're after a brook trout, I don't have it labeled brook trout, but I did. I caught one right there. Just getting a boat and cast right around uh, probably about where that, yeah, where the, you know, on this side is where I caught both of those. But that is going to do it, guys, for the shovel nose guide. Again, if you're looking for shovel nose, this river spot here, you got two diamond spots right here. And you can walk from this bridge down just fishing the bank right there be a good strategy i think that's what i'm going to do anyway up here off this bridge is where we were in the beginning we caught some shovel nose up there we got this spot here a little off the beaten path though but you can probably drive that road down there and get there and then you've got this spot out right here um but also drive up there so that is the spots that are pretty hot um the problem is you don't get much time at night 
really you get about an hour you get about an hour uh real life because we just did bream uh we did bream king of the catch and bream uh, tackle tuesday and so even starting right at like 1900 we got about an hour in and we had to switch maps so get about an hour real time you know maybe two hours real time at night three hours real time day that seemed to me like it'd be a good mixture you know like 60 40 type deal but that's the suggestion for another time the game's in a great state right now you know i can live with it i can live with it um but anyway guys please do me a favor once again if you haven't done so already hit the like hit the subscribe absolutely free over here on youtube hit that notify bell so you know when we've got videos coming out trying to pump out more of those videos and we are streaming tackle tuesdays with scarecrow and bro bra and tony and big rig johnny crow who just hit 90 and dropped a bombshell on us with some secret gear check that video out appreciate you guys for tuning in catch us at 8 p.m eastern on youtube on tuesday nights 9 p.m the competition officially starts and then my other streams are on twitch usually 5 p.m in the evenings monday wednesday thursdays Weekends are kind of to be determined. Sundays is pretty solid at 8 a.m., but that's over on Twitch, those other streams, and that is Darth underscore Sloan. Thank you so much, guys. We will catch you in the next video.